My name is Isaac Musoke Larsen. I'm doing a master's degree in African studies at the University of Copenhagen. After the Danish high school or the Danish gymnasium, um, I knew that I wanted to do something to do with Africa. Being from from Africa myself, I thought it, uh, and, and being very uh, interested in politics and uh, African politics, I thought it was, a, it, was a, it was quite a natural choice. I realized that during my upbringing in, in Denmark, I'd, the only news you receive from Africa is, the, is on the negative or little is known about how nations are developing, how different social processes are going on and transforming the continent in ways which I wouldn't have known of if I hadn't than African studies. I think many people have this mindset of, say, of thinking, well, they don't have anything. They're just rolling around in the mud and starving and having too many children. And we in the West, we really need to educate them. I have a, maybe a lot of uh, um, background knowledge beforehand, but I also think um, What's been quite quite good for me is uh, a lot of the preconceived ideas I had of uh, about you know Africa and what people how people view Africa in Europe and um, a lot of those ideas have been dismissed. I've been mostly interested in, in in the conceptual issues, especially related to development aid, how Western governments work with African governments to promote social and political development in Africa. I considered studying economics and uh, I was very interested in the whole global trade system. But then I, I heard of this program and I thought, well, this is really what I want. I want an interdisciplinary approach uh, to the situation. I didn't just want the cultural aspect, I didn't just want the economic aspect or the political aspect. I wanted, I was really attracted to the whole, you get all these different approaches. It gives you a bit wider, a, a wider view and maybe also a bit not, not as boxed in view of, of the world and uh, exposes you to, to other ways of thinking about, about things. I'm studying together with uh, nurses and political scientists and um, military officers and uh, people with a background in uh, natural geography and I think it's really, uh, it really benefits the, the situation of the learning environment. For example, the way I look at something might be completely different uh, to the way someone who has a background in the humanities or, or, or the health sector looks at something. And I think it's, it's, it's very refreshing. You find a, a rich international environment and you find guys coming from, yeah, from Europe, you find guys from, coming from the US, from Africa. And uh, this diversity contributes a lot in the, the classroom discussions and also you know, in, in our private lives. There's such a relaxed atmosphere be uh, with, between us, the students, and the teachers and researchers that um, because it's such a small place and they always have open doors, it creates this atmosphere where you feel you can go in and ask uh, about different things and you can you meet people in the hallway and you discuss and we go together to make coffee and uh, I like that we're, because we're crammed together then we're crammed together. I think one is given a lot of freedom to to work, work in, uh, independently here and also to design how, how one's uh, you know, what way, which way you want your education to go. You get different cultures, you get to exchange ideas on a, on a different level compared to uh, strictly Danish classes. I wouldn't say it's a typical Danish study environment uh, due to the fact that there are so many international students and I think it, it takes a bit of adjusting uh, both for, for, for a lot of the international students but also for, for Danish students uh, studying here just to to, to find out, okay, this is the way the centre runs. This is this is the this is the way things are done here. Uh, on a fundamental level, I think there's some places in the world where there's too much money, and some other places in the world where where there's not enough. And there's a whole complexity issue uh, around that. And studying African studies is a great way of of finding out some of the of understanding some of the complexities. Mm -hmm.